More than 40% of wildlife and flora in all Asian countries are threatened with extinction. According to statistics, this gradual extinction would eventually result in all endangered species to disappear forever. In Malaysia, the Department of Wildlife and National Parks DWNP, is the agency entrusted to ensure these wildlife are fully and legally protected. Under the Wildlife Conservation Act 2010, any activity involving illegal sales or ownership of wildlife specimen can be subjected to a maximum fine of 500,000 ringgit and jail not more than five years. and enactment specified are also to control cross-border transactions of wildlife under the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Flora and Fauna or CITES, of which Malaysia is one of its members. The National Wildlife Rescue Centre, NWRC, was set up in 2012. NWRC has taken over from the Malacca Zoo as the main rescue centre for the Department of Wildlife since January 2013. NWRC is the one who is responsible for making Asian resolution to implement CITES. CITES is an international agreement between governments with the aim of ensuring the international trade in specimens of wild animals and plants does not threaten their survival. The setting up of NWRC was the obligation of the Wildlife Department as a member of CITES. Their main role is based on the 3R concept, rescue, rehabilitation and release. CITES was officially signed on 3rd March 1973 and was effective from July 1st, 1975. It is an agreement between governments. Its main aim is to ensure fauna and flora are not exploited illegally in international trade transactions. There are two species of wildlife currently under the watchful eye of NWRC. The tiger, where there are 22 of them and nine sun bears. Di sini kami um, akan um, mendapat maklumat daripada perhitungan-perhitungan negeri di mana sekiranya berlaku konflik hidupan liar, sama ada hendak ditangkap, terkena jerat ataupun untuk diserahkan kepada pihak uh, sini, pihak pihatan negeri akan memaklumkan kepada kami. So apa spesies, di mana, di mana kedudukan, sama ada yang di orang yang, yang dah sudah dibela oleh uh, orang ataupun yang ditangkap dia yang berkonflik. So sekiranya mendapat laporan tu, memang kami di sini kami akan bagi masa the most uh, 15 minit untuk kita bersiap sedia dengan kendaraan kita dan kita akan pergi ke tempat kejadian. 2014, the East Asia Summit issued a declaration on combating wildlife trafficking. The declaration outlined 21 measures agreed by all head of governments in combating trafficking of wildlife which is under their commitment to CITES and the Convention on Biological Diversity. The declaration recognized that illicit trafficking and illegal trade in wildlife specimens are prejudicial to the planet's natural heritage. The efforts include increased cooperation, coordination, investigative and enforcement measures amongst all agencies responsible for wildlife law enforcement, including wildlife, forestry, customs, police, judicial and prosecutorial authorities. Asian members involved in this cooperation are Brunei Darussalam, Myanmar, Cambodia, Indonesia, Laos, Malaysia, Philippines, Singapore, Thailand and Vietnam. Beruang juga jadi mangsa untuk pemburuan haram. Mereka akan ambil ni, ya, kaki depan, kaki belakang dan juga hempedu dia. Ya, yang dipercayai ada nilai perubatan. Sebab mereka diburu uh, dan dibunuh. 
the illegal trading of bear bias can fetch between 1,500 to 2,000 ringgit apiece. Its feet are worth around 200 ringgit each, while the teeth can reach up to 100 ringgit each. The sun bear is a protected species under the Wildlife Conservation Act, Enactment 716-2010. If found guilty, an offender can be sentenced to five years jail or fine of 50,000 ringgit or both. Today, NWRC is preparing to conduct a program to release a sun bear back to its original habitat. Acting on this, Asian security ministers signed a declaration to fortify its commitment to combat cross-border crimes, covering issues involving smuggling of wildlife and national treasures by classifying the crime as serious as major criminal acts, such as drug distributions, human trafficking, violence and weapon smuggling. CITES would continue to play its role to control export, re-export and import of animals or plants, alive or dead, or any parts of their species. The control is based on a licensing system of which permits and certificates are only issued if all conditions are observed and must be submitted to the authorities upon leaving or arriving another country. Ini adalah merupakan dua ekor uh, beruang matahari yang telah kita simpan hampir dua tahun. Satu ekor kita dapat daripada barang kes kita tangkapan dan satu lagi adalah merupakan serahan daripada uh, publik. Jadi usaha Jabatan Militer ini adalah merupakan satu usaha untuk konservasi hidup alia di mana kita harapkan uh, kedua pasangan ini boleh survive. This is in line with Asian's objective to create a network of cooperation between all legal enforcement authorities and relevant agencies to coordinate in combating illegal wildlife trafficking at international level and also to work together to develop capacities in enforcement of laws within each member's country. Various initiatives are being taken to improve enforcement. This includes stricter control and monitoring of entry and exit points at the border. Kita pun ada kerjasama dengan uh, macam ASEAN WAN, Wildlife Enforcement Networking. Jadi kerjasama itu penting. Ten years ago, Asian issued a resolution called the Asian WAN, Asian Wildlife Enforcement Network. Today, it has established itself as one of the biggest cooperation networks among Asian members. Asian WEN is an agreement between all 10 Asian countries to establish a network of enforcement on wildlife trafficking involving agencies such as the police, customs and environment-related agencies. The cooperation covers all domestic agencies, a network of wildlife enforcement units to strengthen the country's enforcement law. Malaysia continuously committed in combating wildlife trafficking. Wildlife that already been rescued and cured will be sent back to their origin and they will be monitored from time to time to ensure their safety.